I'm really impressed with the friendliness of Binhua. It's like a really nice place to live if it wasn't like the most Agent Orange contaminated place in Vietnam. What's going on guys? We are in Binh Hoa, Dong Nai province in Vietnam. This is a place that has a lot of job opportunity and that a lot of people don't know very much about. It's got a bit of a crazy history. This was where all the Agent Orange for the war was being manufactured in southern Vietnam. So there's an air base just behind this lake and this was the main spot where it was all being produced and stored. So this is one of the most Agent Orange exposed towns in all of Vietnam. So we're going to try to see what that looks like in 2021 and we're going to give you guys an idea of what it's like to be out here in Binh Hoa, the largest city in Dong Nai province. Um, if you are trying to come to Vietnam and you're thinking about living and working here, you definitely probably have seen advertisements for jobs out here. So let's uh, clear up some mysteries and let's see what it's like to be in one of the most polluted towns in all of southern Vietnam. Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to take a walk around uh, Binh Hoa Park in uh Bean Hoa and see what this place has to offer. It looks pretty cool. Um, the lake is toxic, but it still looks good. Let's check it out. What's up guys? So we are still in the park so far. Very peaceful, um, very low density feel to the area. You don't feel like the hecticness of Saigon. Um, the lake itself and these waterways behind me are very polluted. But from what I understand, there's an even more polluted creek somewhere kind of close to the air base. I think it's the most toxic stream in Vietnam, they were saying. So um, if you are going to take a teaching job out here, that is probably something you do want to consider. Uh, the U.S. government and Vietnam have been partnering on cleaning it up, but it's a long and expensive process, a multi-million dollar process. So it's not something that's going to happen overnight. And with the pandemic, uh, it's probably going to be a ways before it's fully cleaned up. So you will get a lot of job offers out here. They pay a lot more often than in Saigon because there's just not as many people willing to live out here. Um, so let's see if it's a cool place or let's see if it really does suck to be stuck out here. Um, here you're really only about 30, 40 minutes from Saigon, from District 2. So, I mean, you're out there, but you're not like out there, out there. You're still more or less part of the Ho Chi Minh City area. So we'll go take a look around. Um, aside from the obvious Agent Orange contamination, uh, let's see if this is a really nice place to live or not for an expat.
Hey, xin chào anh. Xin chào. Xin chào. Xin chào. Yeah. <laughs> ah, super friendly. Hey, xin chào. Xin chào. Yo, so, so far the people are really, really nice. Like, uh, I'm really impressed with the friendliness of Binhua. People are just ridiculously friendly. Everyone is saying hello, smiling. It's so laid back. Um, definitely way less sketchy than in, in Ho Chi Minh City if you have a camera like we're recording. Uh, it's definitely safer to do it out here for sure. Uh, completely different energy. We're in some of the alleyways next to the park now and uh, very relaxed. There's this graveyard just like right here we found. So we'll see what else we find as we go deeper and deeper into Binhua. We don't do the meat. Some dao hu chin. Okay. Dip it in. Then you dip it in. All right. How bad is it? I like it. You like it? Try it. Uh, Just try it, Jay. Whoop. Is it good? What is the verdict? It's cool. Um. Yeah or not? It's not disgusting, but I don't know if I like it. Okay. It's sweet. Okay. Yeah, it's like sweet and like fish sauce. Alright, let's eat. Yeah. Alright, so man, home is alright. I don't know if it's something I would eat on the regular, but the, the, the tofu. demolished it. 
tofu and the veg and stuff was pretty good. And these guys are working on the meat one, uh, but I'm pretty full, so it's pretty pretty all right. I thought it was good. Or, uh, high noon. South Vietnamese Army. So uh, uh, this is a really interesting place. It has a lot of history. Uh, so far, I really like the town. The people are really friendly. Um, it seems like a really nice place to live if it wasn't like the most Agent Orange contaminated place in Vietnam. Um, this is where they stored it all out at that airfield. So there's a lot of problems with Agent Orange in this area. And even though they have begun the cleanup, I think it's going to be a long time before it's a really safe place to be. So. You do have to think about that. You'll get a higher salary, you'll get help with housing. The, the city itself is beautiful. I mean, the people are so nice. The pace of living seems really nice. But, you know, the Agent Orange exposure, you know, like that's not really a joke. Um, now, I don't know how much it affects people if you're not coming into contact with the water and the places where it is. But, I mean, just having like these massive contaminated sites within the city limits would be a big concerning factor for me. And you can see why centers have a hard time getting teachers out here. But if you want to be here for a short amount of time and you're willing to risk it, it seems like it's a really nice place to live. And so far, I have not met friendlier people. I mean, absolutely really, really, really friendly people here in Binh Hoa and in Dong Nai so far. Really, really impressed. And uh, we're gonna try to show you guys some more of the city and, you know, kind of see what a modern day Binh Hoa looks like. Alright guys, so far I really like Binh Hoa. I mean, this town's really nice. We're in this little central market area. They have the lake. Um, there's a river cutting through the city, so we're going to go head over to the river. It seems like it's a really nice place to live. Um, you know, if you're willing to risk some Agent Orange exposure, you could probably save some money out here. It's definitely, uh, it's pretty cheap. Uh, the jobs pay fairly well. There's a high demand for native speakers. Um, Binh Hoa is a place where you definitely can ease yourself into the culture. It's not as crazy or as hectic as Saigon. Um, everybody's really, really friendly. So I think it would be probably a pretty good place for someone who's never been to Vietnam. But it would definitely lack in like Western services, like Western food and certain anemones that you might be able to get in Saigon a lot easier. Um, still, if you just want to work and save some money, I think it's really hard to beat this as a destination. You're still really close to Ho Chi Minh City. It's much, much cheaper. Salaries are pretty high. And a lot of times they'll even help you with housing out in areas like this.
Lewis. It's an amazing little city. Uh, it's got some quirky cool little statues, nice little park space. The people are incredibly friendly. A uh, little mam tom place we tried was pretty good. It was cheap. Uh, coffee pretty cheap. We had a decent espresso. Um, overall, this is not a, not a bad place to live. Uh, I really hope that, that, you know, with the cooperation of the U.S., that they can eventually completely get the Agent Orange out of the area because this is a really cool place. Um, the Dongnai River is beautiful. Uh, at sunset right now, it's incredible. Uh, you definitely get more wind and it just feels cooler even than the Saigon River. So I would say, yeah, if you're thinking about taking a job in Minhua, it's a very nice place to live. Um, you know, but I guess don't be naive about the fact that it is a highly contaminated area. Pollution is a big problem. And, uh, you know, air pollution is much less than Saigon. Uh, there's much less motorbikes. It definitely feels much less dusty. But it's just the leftover Agent Orange from the war that's the problem. So, like, long term being here, I guess would probably be a legitimate concern. Short term to make some money and have a cultural experience. I can see this being a really good spot. So, yeah, this is from the Dong Nai River, guys. It's been a really, really beautiful place. We enjoy it in Dong Nai. And, uh, you know, if you're thinking about coming to Vietnam and you want to live and work in a provincial area like this, we can help you find jobs in places like this as well. If you're looking to save money, it's really hard to beat. So the green space that's back here, this is the old airfield. So this is where they were making and storing all the Agent Orange during the war. And it's gotten into a lot of the water supply around here. So that's the epicenter of the uh, Agent Orange pollution, basically. Um, it seems like the city itself is thriving. Uh, there's a lot of factories out here. There's a lot of energy. Uh, the people are super nice. Um, so far, the food seems pretty cool. It's a lot cheaper than in Saigon. Uh, housing is cheaper. Uh, we are on a friend's roof right now, and her apartment, for the price, it's very hard to beat this. This is really nice. So if you are gonna come out to Dong Nai, this would be a good place to be for maybe a year or so, stack some money. Um, I don't know if I would stay out here longer than a year, but you know that's mostly just due to fear of the contamination. Um, I mean, but there's pollutants in Saigon as well, so I, I mean, it's it's not like you escape it. It's just that, unfortunately, Agent Orange is one of those ones where sometimes you don't necessarily see the effects of it for a generation or so. Unfortunately, it's still quite a problem here in Vietnam. Uh, you do see it on the sides of the roads, people who've been exposed to Agent Orange. Uh, it, it can be really a uh, difficult thing to see. So being in a place where all of it was contained and stored is definitely a little bit of a strange feeling. Uh, it's, it certainly is a little bit of a dark side to uh, you know what otherwise would seem like a really charming little city. Hey guys, what's going on? So my opinion of uh, the Bean 
want is pretty good. Like, it seems pretty nice here. Um, not a lot of traffic, a lot chiller than Saigon or Hanoi. And also, a lot of the jobs, you don't have to work six days a week. You can pay about, I don't know, 180 to 200 for your apartment. Most living is cheap. You can save money out here. And it seems like a nice town besides the fucking toxic waste dump. Uh, all right, guys, so let me show you the airfield where they made all the Agent Orange. It's uh, just off here in the distance. You guys can see that area that's like cut out. My homegirl lives right across the street from the most toxic part of the entire town. Um, this is a boulevard down here. There's like Vin Marts and shopping and then behind it is the airfield. So that's where all the Agent Orange was during the war and where I guess a lot of the contamination is. Uh, there's some creeks and rivers that are kind of connected to that area and I've heard they're really 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 bad so it's a good thing that there is an effort to clean it up I don't know right now how the pandemic has affected that effort um, it could probably have stopped it completely I'm not sure I think at the moment the world is uh, unfortunately focused on everything that's going on but I do hope to see them clean it up completely because this is a really nice little city and it's a really really beautiful green little city I think it would be a really nice place to live if they could just kind of get that contamination problem completely solved. I mean, this would be a fantastic little city. I mean, it's like very similar to Saigon. The people are really nice. There's just way less traffic and less air pollution. And it just seems like an overall good place to be. to these towns guys is that it's extremely cheap to live out here and sometimes you can get jobs that will either kick you back money towards housing or they'll arrange housing in my opinion it's always better to just get a stipend and find your own apartment because sometimes the things they'll put you in are not really worth what they're deducting out of your salary um, but I want to give you guys a look so this place is 5.5 million so really not a lot of money that's what just about a little bit over two hundred dollars a month and we'll show you what it looks like. It's got a pretty cool roof. Uh, all the shots that we're gonna put into this video were shot on the roof. So you guys can see, we're, the only negative I would say is it's very close to the airfield where all the Agent Orange was. Um, the part of the airfield that's being used by the military, from, from what I understand, has been cleaned up. But there's still areas that are like closed off to people to come near, so you are still pretty close to that. But, you know, for 5.5, and you're next to Ho Chi Minh City, can you complain? All right, so you have a pretty decent sized bed. You got a little bit of storage, AC in the room, a little desk, a little something something. This would be okay for a single person trying to save a little money. Uh, they've got a little balcony, uh, not much of a view, but there's a little outdoor space and that's a nice advantage. It's actually uh, pretty big. It's not uh, that all that small. Looks like it faces out to the alley a bit. A little bit of a table. So you got a place to eat. I mean, really, you can't go too wrong. What do you think, Mish? It's not bad for 5.5. I think it's cool for 5.5. Uh, hit the light for the bathroom so we can show them the bathroom. Just look, full-size uh -huh. fridge. Yeah, full-size fridge, decent kitchen. Yeah, decent kitchen for the price. A little hot plate going on, it's alright. Like I said, for being single, it'd be cool. You got some storage. You know, even more storage over here. Look at that, that's alright. And this bathroom, I was surprised, man. This was actually really cool. Uh, you are not going to get something of this standard in Saigon for 5.5. Uh, Pre-COVID, you could pay as much as like 10 to 12 million for something like this. You know, obviously a lot less now. I mean, you can get really nice deals now for like 10, 12 million. But I mean, I, even now, you're not finding something of this cleanliness and standard for 5.5 in the city, unless you're way on the outskirts, like 
Hawk Mon or one of those places. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool for uh, just a couple hundred bucks. Brush your face and wash your teeth, son. Hey, what's up? I'm D from Canada. Hook up with the New York Nomad if you want a smooth ride into Vietnam or any Southeast Asian countries. Hey, my name is Aaron. Get in contact with the New York Nomad. If you want to get into Vietnam, hit them up. They'll get you in securely and professionally. Yo, this is Uncle Hollywood. I'm telling you right now, the New York Nomad got me a job. He's legit. Hit him up. Check him out. New York Nomad set me up in Vietnam. <laughs> Yo, my man got me a job. Come to Vietnam. Hey, what's up, guys? You thinking about coming to Vietnam? You're not sure where to start. You've heard a lot of things online. You don't know what's true. You don't know what's not. We offer a consulting service where we help you get on your feet in Vietnam. We give you advice on negotiating contracts with employers. We help you with real estate agents, visa agents that are reliable and that you can trust. And we help you get started in this amazing country and get on your feet. We help you get into different opportunities that might be more difficult for you if you were just landing in the country on your own. And we help you avoid a lot of the, the pitfalls and problems that you could have as a newcomer here. We provide you with reliable job recruiters, visa agents, real estate agents, and advice. If you guys are thinking about coming to Vietnam, hit us up for a consultation. We'll help you get started, help you get on your feet, and hopefully you'll love Vietnam as much as we do. Are you thinking of living, investing, buying property, buying land, working, or spending any significant time in Cambodia? Cambodia is an amazing country that offers a wide range of different opportunities for someone who has an open mind. If you're thinking about coming to Cambodia for the first time, we offer a consulting service for people who are looking to have everything done for them before they arrive. They want their housing contacts, their employment, their consultants, whatever they want to find in the country, they want it set up. That's what we do for you. We make it easy so that you don't have to worry about scams, problems, or other pitfalls that new expats face in this amazing country.